Thank you, Vodaru, for dropping the Dragon Hammer, crushing the follow button. I'll probably call tonight. And become part of the Kismet Army. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I got I to gotta help my kids. Uh, all right, so I'm back. I'm back from outer space. I see some people who need to be shot in the face, but I have no ammo. Sucks. I'm busy. I'm a builder. I got to build. Kiz the builder. <laughs> every, time, every time I say builder, that's the first thing I think of is Bob the builder. Kiz the builder. Dee, dee, dee. I just want to get that song on. But, you know, when I'm building, when I'm trying to focus, when I'm trying to think about what I want to do, I typically don't listen to music. Some people do. Some people, it helps them. Uh, but for me, it doesn't. It actually distracts me from what I'm doing. Because I start to think of this music. I start to think of the song. I start to think of the lyrics. And I get very, very distracted. I mean, I'm, I'm distracted without music. Imagine how more distracted I could become. Right? I'm going to go ahead and use this ladder, basically, as kind of like scaffolding to hold on to to fill in the rest of these blocks here. You might be like, Kismet, why are you not doing the corners, bro? You'll see in a second. You'll see in a second. First thing I got to do is get up to the top. Try not to fall to my death. No guarantees. No guarantees. There we go. And we got ourselves a bit of a platform. For right now. At the top. And there we go. Snipe tower. Oh, if I only had my... If I only had some bullets. Pretty nice. Snipe all the way into the city. Oh, yeah. You can snipe everything from up here. Snipey snipe. That's perfect. All right. Let's do it. Now, when you get it the way you like it, you fill it in. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and just go concrete this time instead of full glass. And then I'm going to try something different where I'm going to actually just put the glass things in the corner. Right? Just in the corner so you can sit. Uh, and then it'll be perfectly kind of uh, square here. So when you come up, uh, now, of course, wherever the ladder is, I will put a blocker there, right? So you don't accidentally fall off the side. I can also build it out further uh, and put some bars up there so you can just go and walk out on the bars. But I want to go ahead and put the glass things on the set side and just see how it is. Now, nothing is set in stone. Well, some of it's set in stone when you put down stone. Uh, but nothing's set in stone that you can't just go back and tear down and build it again. And that's what makes Seven Days to Die so amazing. It's so awesome in that way. Gonna take do the pillars, bottom pillars. Do a little of this while I'm out here. What the heck? Do a little bit of this action. Get this here. Like so. And let's go do the rest. Get up there. I always get a weird kind of euphoric feeling whenever I go backwards like that. Weird, weird. All right, now they call that a Dunn Tower right there. Let's see if we get this rebar on the way down. There we go. We got ourselves a uh, start of a tower. And how much concrete I got? Plenty. All right. Oh, actually, I'll just go back and get my corners. Go back and get my corners. Upgrade that while I'm at it. So when I'm coming and going, I just like upgrade things as I go back and forth. Uh, let's get some more concrete while we're at it. A touch a lag there. Touch a lag. Pop those out. Get that back out again. All right. I got a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't really need right now. So I'm going to go ahead and offload that. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need drawbridge right now. Uh, blade trap. Don't need it. Uh, land claim block. Don't need it. Potatoes and corn and stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead and put that. Oh, put in the raw food. Put in the raw food for our wonderful Gwen for later. Uh, and let's see. All the rest of that is good. Cloth fragments. I could probably get rid of those. Just gonna drop box all the rest of this and let somebody else sort it for now. Or I'll come back and sort it later. Uh, all this kind of random stuff that I pick up from people. Glue, plain colors, duct tape. That I can put away. That I can put away in the tape. Look at that. 500 plus 240 tape. 740 tape right there I made today. Very nice. Very nice. I need some water and some food. Go ahead and do that while we're here. Get it going on. Can't wait for July 16th. Exactly. Squirrel. Exactly. Squirrel. Everybody looks for a squirrel.
They're interested in it. Yeah, nothing funnier than pets that like bird dog you the whole time. Is that food? You got some food? Is that food for me? You gonna give me some of that food? You gonna share? How's the food? Does it taste good? You gonna give me some? I mean, it's just like they, they just like bird dog you the whole time. They just like watch you the whole time while you're eating. It's like, get out of here, dog. I'm eating my food. <laughs> crazy dog. You're so crazy. You're so crazy. You're so crazy, dude. All right, now I need that uh, the corners. Let's get the corners. I got a bunch of them. No reason to waste uh, stuff on the corners when I got a bunch of them right there. Got more ramps than what I need right now. My arrow's back. Get my arrow's down here. Major lag action going on right now. Anybody else getting a bunch of lag? Yeah, a little bit. Getting a touch of lag. Okay, so I need my corners. Go do those. Oh, and I forgot to cut out where the generator is going to be. Oh, my bad. Just just thought of it just now. Okay, let's do the easy stuff. I like it to be rounded because that's cool. Going to fill that in best we can from the ground level. Going to aim at that edge there. There we go. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Same thing down here. Crouch down to get that bottom one. Make sure it's going in the right direction first. Hmm, kind of easy to go up and then go up really high and then come back down. What's up, bad guy? How you doing there? Looks like you're missing a leg. I haven't wired this yet or I would kill Have you all. Have we set up those solar banks yet? No, nah, I'm going to probably do that uh, on tomorrow's stream. We're going to start that probably off with that. Gonna be fun. Did we find any more solar cells? We got three. Well, we got three banks though, so if you need like no, we got three 12. solar cells. I know, but I mean, we have three solar thingies to put in the solar cells, so we need like twelve. Of them. Yeah, yeah. Hold still. Darn you! I ain't got time for this, bro. I ain't got time for this. All right. That's enough of that. I'll be back for you, bro. I'm just going to let you stand in there. I'm just going to let you stand in there and walk toward me, and then I'm going to get you. That was a good shot. Oh, this lag ain't helping either. This lag ain't helping either. I got a little touch of lag. Don't break my stuff. My stuff. Don't break it. Well, it's like, uh, uh, uh. Every time I try to do something there, that sucks. That sucks. All right. Like this. I kind of like that you start at the top and work your way back down. That makes it a lot easier. Makes that a lot easier. All right, we need some more corners. Wet cement is what we need, and we need corner round top. Uh, and let's go ahead and make a, another 30 of those. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get my quicker, I get my quicker crafting all the way to the top. I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. What else we got? I got a whole bunch of points. 28. What else can I throw it into here? Guess into camel because that's just getting too annoying. Crank a bunch in there so I don't have to worry about my water. My agua. Wait a minute. Oops. Oopsie. Oh gosh, I'm glad I glad I saw that. Hold on, stop. Glad I put one of those down. That's not it. That the wrong one. Bye bye, sucker. Bye bye. They have not been interested in anything else, and it's just this one flavor, and I only use a cereal bowl for it because I suspect the chili would 
eat through any other bowl. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You know when the chili when the chili's that that spicy or that uh, that dangerous, you gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. Not a, it's not a corner round like that. It's one of those other ones. Darn it. Darn it. What's it called? I don't think it's showing up in the list. Uh, frames. Rebar. Not the rebar. Because they only have those. Pillars, the 50s, the rebar, the rebar frame, the inside corner, and the rebar ramp. Uh, and then... Cement. Should be under wet. Just not seeing it. There it is. Corner round right there. I knew it was in there somewhere. That's why you always test. You always test when you're making stuff to make sure you don't make too many of them. I made 30 of those. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't use them. I wouldn't use them. Just trying to do it to make fancy. You can just make it square, by the way. If you make it totally square, it'd be fine. It would be fine. Probably not going to use those. I'm just going to scrap them. Just going to scrap them. Definitely feel like I'm not going to use them. All right, let's get to the power stuff here. Again, all this stuff takes time. Uh, we also need to build a couple, or just one door probably, or maybe two. Two doors. Got to run some power. Oh, it's day 140. We got to hurry up. We got to hurry up. I mean, uh, it's day 140 is 15. So we got to uh, run that power. Get my other generator. Get over here. Get some uh, engines. Get the best ones we can find here. Take them all. Taking them all, bros. Get it where I'm going by. Ah. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So this is called the power tower. And the reason why is because I put the power in there. I did not do the did, did not do the thing I was gonna go in there, but that's okay. I got time for that. Ain't got time for that right now. I need to put the power in there. I think I should put the power at the walk level on this one. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Put the tower at the walk level, so you can literally walk in there and turn the power on from the corner, or turn it on and off from the corner. Now, again, these are just testing. I'm testing to see how I like those each of these things, right? So again, if you do one. Then you try to improve it the next time. Oh, lazy. Thank you so much for the 36 bits. Look at all those bits uh, dropping in there. Did they drop in there? Did they drop in there? I didn't see them. Hmm. Something be broken. Something be broken. But thank you so much for that 36 bits, uh, lazy. If you put them in there and I missed it, sorry. Thank you so much. I don't think so. Let me know in the chat if they came through. Morning! Hello, Lazy. Good morning to you. Thank you for hanging out in the stream. Thank you for all hanging out in the stream. Uh, x uh, yeah, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, bro. Yeah. Again. Squirrel! I should have that in the stream. Squirrel! I have, to, I have to add that to... Hold on, let me put it down on my list. Put it down on my list of a massive amount of things I need to do. Uh, there we go. There we go. I added in the list. It's long. <laughs> it's very, very long. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this particular one is I'm going to actually make a doorway right here. So I'm going to fill this in, and then I'm going to take this back out. I should have took it out before it dried. That would have been better. Because one of the problems is accessing the power switch. Like so. Uh, boom. Like so. Now, of course, I want to put the power in such a way that it is not facing this way so they don't destroy the block behind it and then end up breaking the tower, breaking the uh, stuff. Now, on this particular pillar, there's not a building behind it. So, uh, I got to watch out. So, I'm going to say about, hmm, I don't know, just a little bit in. I'll have the switch down here. So, I'll offset the switch. Now, you don't have to make everything symmetrical, by the way. Symmetrical is boring. I think it is. 
But uh, you don't have to make it symmetrical, but you do need to make it functional. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just do a little bit of that action. Could make it round. Could have used that round block right there. Make it kind of round. Could I do? That's a unique block there. Yeah, ain't got time for it. 16. I gotta go. I gotta get things going. So that's where my switch is going to be. Uh, now, of course, I don't want to block my ability to go up here. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oops. Not do that. Gotta take that out now. I'm out of control, everybody! I'm out of control! Blow that sucker up! Blow that sucker up! Show it some love! Blowing it up! Take that! Oh! Forgot I had that other... I should have made another block. Should have made another block. So I need a two block to put the thing and then switch. Let's go get it. Forgot the switch. Forgot the switchy switch! Are we good on gas up top or do I need to bring some up? Uh, I would just, uh, I'd bring some gas out there. And eventually, by the way, we need to uh, move the uh, ammo, the regular ammo and all that stuff outside for Horde Night. And uh, uh, I can't believe we haven't done it yet. Uh, and all of the uh, food, water, uh, meds, all that stuff. Uh, so I'd probably put it in the two, the two corners, right? Southeast corner and then also in the northwest corner. Um, let's just make a temporary box for now. And eventually we'll put it on the uh, power towers out there. Uh, all right. What am I doing? Twitches. Okay. See? Distracted. Distracted by peeps. I get this. Why I get distracted? People ask me questions. I get distracted from my goals. Switches. That's not a switch. Get back in there. I get distracted easily because I'm trying to do a whole bunch of stuff at once. Whole bunch of stuff. Now you might be like, Kismet, there's no way you're going to get that done, bro. There's no way. Well, I always got a backup plan. I can wire it during Horde Night as well. Uh, and of course, if they attack from this side, then I'm, in, I'm basically screwed. But. They attack from the other side, then I'll be fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our generator bank in here. And again, if this was real life, I would never I would never put this inside because you're going to get asphyxiated from that sucker. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the switch in a much more convenient spot. Right there. There we go. Now that's going to be much more convenient for when you want to turn the power on and off. So you can just literally come through the door, open up the door, flip the switch on. You're good. You're good. I'm going to go ahead and protect it over here so somebody just doesn't snipe it. From down there, I don't want that to happen. Don't want it to get snipey sniped. And there we go again. Try to improve each time you make something. Make it a little bit better next time. Make it a little bit better next time. There we go. That I like. I don't like the square blockiness of that outside. I would like it if it was round. That would be cool. I could have actually just rounded out the whole back of it. Uh, but I do like the fact that you just come in here and switch it on and off. Now the problem is, how do I get the power out of there? How do I get the power out of there? Well, guess what? I'm going to have to make a hole. Right there. Now, of course, I didn't bring the switchy thingies to switch it up there. And I like to ride it right to the last minute. <laughs> you guys are kidding it. You're driving us crazy riding it to the last minute every time, bro. Right to the edge of Horde Night. Why do you do that? Well, because I don't have enough time to do it all. I don't have enough time to do it all. If I could just remember stuff. If I could remember stuff, it would be awesome. It would be awesome. Just take everything with me. Have a bigger inventory. Carry more. All right. So what I'm literally going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Put this right there. And then run this. My wire tool. While we're at it. Let's refuel that baby. And let's put all these engines in there. Look at that. 400 watts. 400 watts of awesomeness. And then let's get our wire tool. And get the switch. Because we want it to go from the switch. And then this. And then, of course, this will run out to everything. So this will be protected out here. Hopefully. Uh, and then we can just switch it on. And it's going to be live. Now, one of the things, of course, you got to do is turn on the generator. And now you see the green light. See the green light? Without, with the generator's out of gas or uh, it's not switched on. You won't see the light. But even if it does have gas, notice how it's red. 
So if it's running, it's fine. Uh, you just leave it running all the time. Uh, but if this switch is not on, it won't burn up gas. But the second you turn that on, it's now burning up a ton of gas. All right. Now, what we need to do, of course, is uh, chain the power from here and take over the power uh, that is currently being used over that way. So now this is generating the power from this side. And then now we've got all of our traps down here that we then need to run all of our power to. Now again, I've got like literally like a couple minutes to make this work. Got like yeah, two or three minutes. We'll get it done. May not even need it. That's the thing. And while my peeps are sniping peeps, I'll be over here doing my thing. Doing my thing, which is building up stuff. Making awesome contraptions like this. Because that's what I do. Because that's what I do. Boom. I put some food, water, and uh, first aid kits in the ammo box out here. I'll also put uh, 500 sniper rifle ammo in the ammo box, I believe. Nice. Nice. All right, there we go. We got a whole bunch of those going. Test, test run. Those are not on. Those ones are on, but these are not on. Why is it not on? Why is the rum gone? Wow, really? Those take 400 watts? Oh, boy. Okay, 700 sniper rifle ammo on there now. Just those three are taking four. That doesn't seem right to me. 20 watts, 20, 40, 60, 70. Oh, because it's, it's chaining out the rest of it. Hold on. Not that. There we go. There we go. I was like, that. that's not even close. That's not even close, bro. <laughs> not even close to that much energy. All right. I'm going to take this. That math does not work. There we go. Refueled that generator. This one in the northeast uh, corner? North, northwest corner? Yes, and I'm refueling this one, too. Yeah, do you want to do uh, ammo running to all the turrets? Yeah, sure. Do they all take 9mm now? Yeah, they're all 9mm on the sides. Uh, I wouldn't put any in there until uh, we were actually live that time. How much do you think each one needs? I just put a stack of 500 in there, but we're, we're going to only do the sides in which they're attacking. So if they're attacking here from the north side, then we'll put, you know, obviously the east one and the west one on. Gotcha. I'm just going to keep 1,000 in my inventory, and I'll put 500 in each one, depending on what side they hit. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm wiring. Yep. Everybody should be prepped for Horde Night. I'm not, but everybody else should be. I'm running wires. Yeah, ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is keep running wires right up until the last minute. And even during Horde Night, I will run them to whatever I need to run them to. Now, I actually have four of these generators, so I have more than enough power to run all of this. But I don't have to run it all at the same time. That's, that's the whole thing. Actually, let me cancel that. Cancel that, and then let me run this power. From here to there, then turn this off over there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it now. Right before the end of Horde Night, I will go ahead and take all this stuff and offload it. Now, hopefully, they attack from the other side. I don't have to worry about it. I think that one's this one here. Now again, I built these power poles for this very reason, so I could go ahead and pull the lines to the various stuff. All right, that's probably good for now. And we'll see what side they attack from. Let's go ahead and check the load on the engine. 361 watts. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so good. Come on. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good guesstimate. I could still put some more on there. And as we get better engines, of course, it will have higher... Uh, power getting close But I got to offload my stuff right here before horde night and Grab just the stuff I need Oh lag laggy lag lag 
here. Don't need my auger. All right, gonna need some cement. Gonna need some forge iron, forge steel. Uh, let's get some cobblestone, black iron just in case. Uh, what else are we gonna need? I right, only got a lot more. There we go. Uh, and then of course I got my nail gun. I need my sniper rifle. Gonna need that sniper ammo. Sniper ammo. Where'd you put the sniper ammo? It's in the box out here. The uh, turret ammo box. Aha! Bam. Stock it up. Stock it up. And what else do I need? Did you ever grab your armor out of that workbench? <laughs> that's, a, that's a no. <laughs> no, I'll do it after Horde Knot now. <laughs> Where did... Oh, someone took my uh, things out of the construction box. Don't... Uh, I had... Uh, f... Never mind. Never mind. I can't tell them now. I got I got no time to tell them. No time to tell them. I got to do stuff. Didn't do it. What happened? I ain't got time to talk about it. I ain't got time to talk about it. Bam. Ten seconds. Buckle in, everybody. Come on, door. And there we have it, everybody. Look at that. Right at the very last second. It's my electrical components for repairing the things. All right, what side are we on? Oh, I think it's going to be the other side. I'll oh, check. wait. Uh, Southwest. 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 I think it's going to be Southwest and West. Let me go check the corner. I'll build the turret. Cop, cop, West. See how I had that splash guard there? Buckle in, everybody! It's horde night! Cops! Cops trying to hit me. Oh, I like that. See how it keeps them busy? I already, darn cop. Sometimes I gotta hit you in the head. Holy moly. Holy moly, this is starting crazy. Look at this deal. Big radiated cop in the back, uh, Northwest. Don't stand in front of me. Prioritize cops first. Always cops. Forget about the other mobs, yep. All right, got me that time. Repaired. Keep those repaired. Going down. Drag them down here. Look at all these peeps getting on. Look at all these peeps getting on. Going this way. Now, cops, they don't die. They're radiated cops, they don't die. Uh, they don't die to the traps. Use the pillar and the, and the glass splash guard if the cops are trying to get you. Holy mackerel! Got him! Get out of the way, Santa! Are these spinners not hooked up? They are if you're not in my way. Holy moly, look at all these cops everywhere! This is insane! Oh, what a headshot! Look at the turret up here on the top. Look at the turret doing its job. Check it out, doing its job! Reload your webs. Somebody blew up down there. Oh. South. Coming in, cops. Come on. I just got another rough for some reason. Just escape and keep going. This is insane. They're coming from everywhere. Southwest on the hill. Look out. 
Let me hit my buddy Samson. More coming in west. Now our job is just to kill the cops. All the rest of the stuff gonna get grinded up. Later. Nice shot, nice shot. Make sure they're dead. Shoot them in the crotch a couple times. Reload while you're waiting. Look at all those. Ah ha ha, ferals. Eat that, ferals. Now, normal ferals will die. This feral will not die. They're bugs. You gotta just kill those yourself. Look at these bodies. Look at this. Look at that body count. Holy moly. Another cop coming in northwest. Now this is what they call a horde night, everybody. Sit down, bro. Sit down. Reload in between. Look at them getting chopped up. Get in there and get chopped up. Now you gotta stand over the choppers. Oh, they broke my they broke my thing over there. Gotta put more down, but that's okay. That's okay. Get in there and get chopped up. Oh, really? Up. Did that just happen? What's that? I lagged off the edge into the spinners. Two cops west. Flash guard. Reload. Dang it. Die, dang you. Another cop coming in. Two more cops coming in north side. Southwest. Come on, suckers. This is epic. Oh, there's a cop right there. Up. Up. I got one, too. We're, bl we're blowing up the server. We're breaking the server here, everybody. I just got a null ref, too. Look out. We're breaking the server. We're breaking the server, man. <laughs> Buckle in. Buckle in for this one. Eat it. Yeah, I didn't have time to wire those. That's how those got blown up. Cop got in there and blew them up. Cop coming in southwest. Southwest. Whoa! Oh, there goes another cone. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh, another cop. Radiated cop coming in. Dang, these suckers coming from everywhere. And my splash guard. Whoop! This is insane. This is the greatest horde night ever. What the heck? Why is everybody shooting for me? Out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I just shot a hundred bullets. Please don't stand away from us. Drag him down to the end. Drag him down to the end. Bam. All right. Sorry, I'm out of bullets. I can't believe I shot a hundred bullets there. I'm uh, gonna need a med kit. Take a couple of those. Use it. Use it. All right, that's enough of that. Give me a whole bunch of ammo. Reload this baby. Get out of here and get her done. Bye-bye, sucker. Bye-bye. See, if you stand together, then they all come toward you. They get chopped up. Cop on Another the hill. Cop up there, so, yeah. 
Dead now. Dead now. Get grinded up, mobs. Now you might be like, Kismet, you're losing out on all that loot. I don't care. As long as my base doesn't get destroyed, I don't care about that loot. Get in there. I can go find more loot. I can find lots more loot. Bye-bye. That's one of the greatest things I've invented right there. The grinder. Kismet grinder. Hey. Stop hitting my... Whoa, there's a pharaoh right there. Climber. Come on, climbers. What's up, brother? Bye-bye. Bye bye. That was epic. That was epic, man. That was amazing. Yeah, I was trying to wire it, and every time I would turn one way, Samson would stand in front of me, and I'm trying to wire it, trying to wire it. And Samson's like, hey, is the thing plugged in? It would be if you're out of my way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch off the trap. Uh, that was funny. That was funny. See, that doesn't upset me. I think that's hilarious. That's part, all part of the mayhem of uh, Horde Night. Uh, that's hilarious. And if I had more time, I could have wired it all up. But uh, see, we didn't need it all wired anyway. Did you see that? Uh, that you only need to have certain sections wired. Like I would wire this section, you know, halfway down and then halfway down this way. And then have that corner halfway down, halfway down the other way, and so on. That's eventually what I'll have. I'll build another power tower here, and then one on the far side. Uh, and then you'll just go in, flip the power, and you'll be fine. But that's funny. That's pretty funny. All right. Ooh. Lost some spinners. Oh, yeah. Cops blew up because I hadn't wired them. I was trying to, wa I was trying to wire them uh, <laughs> while, we was, while we were there. Because so, I had wired the other side. And it's always the side that, you know, you haven't finished yet. That's the side they always attack. Because you, know, you only have so that much. That zombie had a 450 shotgun on him. Oh, nice. You only have so much time, right? I only have so much time. I, I mean, I took out all the spikes. I put that thing down. I put all the wall down. I built that tower over there. I put the power in. I ran the power over there. Lord, south, southeast. Is it anything that's not going to get grinded up? Nah, just let them grind, grind it. Bye bye, zombie horde. Look at that, zombie. It's horde night, and then more zombies show up. Makes me want to snipe some of them. I'm gonna snipe Big Mama. Obscured. Yeah, let her get grinded up. Let her get grinded up. I'm telling you, that's an amazing addition to the Kismet kill box right there. That is amazing. Snipe these guys. These are the guys that really bug me. They always get me. I like how the crawling zombies, as soon as they enter the trap, they end to die. They yeah. get headshot. I don't know what you're doing, but stop it. <laughs> she died before she even got there. That's embarrassing. Uh, somebody's still twitching down there. Okay, go flip the switch off. Yeah, see, eventually, uh, the corners, like this corner here, the uh, kind of west corner, or I guess the southwest corner, Southwest corner will co will control halfway down that way, halfway down this way. And then all the corners will control just kind of half of the corners because they always attack from the corners. You ever notice that? How they attack from those corners or you can drag them at least to the corners. And then you can have one power circuit that controls everything on this side, uh, which then can be flipped on, kill them all, and then you flip it back off again. It's going to be awesome when I get it done. All right. Let me see if I can wire this at least and then uh, I'm going to probably have to bail. All right, let's do it. Now, this is working perfectly over here. <laughs> Got a few of them, I think. But I don't know. I don't know, because what it does, it actually destroys them so you don't get their loot. But I don't care. I don't care at all. I mean, we're going to get some loot anyway. We'll get some loot. Now, this power right here, I'm going to go ahead and use, utilize that for these ones here. 
and I'll have to put some more traps down in a minute. But let's go ahead and utilize this one for all of these. Like so. Bam. And if you did like that, everybody, throw one in the chat. Uh, remember your sniper bullets. Yeah, I know. I totally went back for them. You see, I did it like the last second. Because you have hot donuts. Ooh, hot donuts. Oh, hot donuts. Who's, who says hot donuts? Don't do that. You just triggered everybody in the stream. So I went, what? Hot don Who's got hot donuts? Who's got the hot donuts? There we go. And whenever you say hot donuts, by the way, the first person I think of uh, is that dude from Duck Dynasty. They have a, like an obsession with hot donuts. I want to get those hot donuts. Let's go get some hot donuts. Damn. All right. Not the uh, not the crazy guy, but the boss guy, the boss hog guy, that dude. He's got an obsession. You can tell he's been have a, he's been ha he's had an obsession for a while with them hot donuts. If you look at his belly, <laughs> much like me with chocolate, much like me with chocolate, quite an obsession. Those hot donuts. All right, I can't wire those because those are gone. All right. So there we go. Now, the whole point is to put them down, and then you can just wire them all, and then you can readjust the wires in between your poles, right? In between the various uh, poles. But you saw that those turrets worked amazing. Uh, and when you're doing this side, see, when they're attacking from this side, if we were on this west side, when they're attacking, uh, then you do that turret over there and that turret over here. If they're attacking all from this one side, then you turn that power tower on, that power tower, and then this whole side and off the side, the whole thing, this whole kind of corner quad uh, kind of half the entire base is fully uh, tar is full uh, turret mode, full turret mode as well. Now we'll upgrade all of these spikes out here eventually to steel, uh, and we'll probably uh, take out the gaps because now you can run along the edge of the steel or on the edge of the concrete. Uh, so we'll take out all the gaps, put in a massive amount of uh, steel spikes, uh, and that's it. And then once all the powers run and everybody knows where the power switches are, uh, that should get her done. Get her done. Now, I've got a few more minutes, though. I'm not going yet. Hang out in the stream. Oh, lots of ones. Kismet ring of dank intensifies. <laughs> there you go. That was intense. Cra that was awesome. Intense. Crazy. Yeah, hey, I was Samson, getting. Do you have room on your uh, person? Yep. I was There's getting... a 200 getting shotgun on like something else on the side. I was getting nervous there, everybody. I was getting nervous. I was, I was like, oh, my gosh, there's a lot of cops. I don't have it wired. Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, Samson, step aside, bro. <laughs> uh, that's funny that's funny all right now this time i'm gonna be smart i'm gonna put this armor ammo and my sniper weapon uh away into my box like so she got me a new uh she got me a new bow too uh but did you notice how i ran back and got these electrical components that's to try to repair those uh those spinners uh so you got to watch out for that you got to watch out for the spinners uh, that they uh, don't break like they did. Now, I just happen to have three more. I forget how many that broke. But probably is a backup plan. We should probably have a bunch of those blade spinners. Uh, extra or blade traps. I call them spinners. Uh, blade traps laying around. We made 28 there. Probably too many. So let's make about 10. Uh, and then you got them kind of as backup. If they get broken, you take them out and put them out again. The whole point of your base is just to help you survive. Now, if you survive, your base worked. Now, even if your base got half destroyed or mostly destroyed... Successful. Mission successful there, bro. Because you got, uh, you did survive. Your peeps survived. That's the important thing. Come put those traps back down. Now, if those traps were live, by the way, these traps right here, uh, they would have not got destroyed. Because they would have chopped them up before they could get in there and destroy it. Uh, and they would have interrupted, they would have interrupted all the cops before they got in and destroyed it all. Now, while I'm in here, see if there's any of this stuff that needs to be repaired. Doesn't look like it. Oh, this one's taking lots. Oh, what do I? What am I out of? Repaired? Oh, it's just a little touch of lag there. A little touch of lag. Wow, oh, really? They're brand new. That one took some damage. Yeah, about it. Not a little less than halfway. So those are good. But just run around, give it a little bit of love. I just jump from one to one. Now, of course, they turn this on, I'm dead meat. Please don't do so. 
Please don't do so. Uh, just a little heads up, everybody. I happen to be down into the traps. Please don't turn it on. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good night, y'all. Hi, man. Good night. All right. So I'll get this done, everybody. We'll probably be uh, really going to town. Oh, look at that one's all wrecked. That one's wrecked right there. Uh, we will be going ahead and uh, finishing this up tonight at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we're not going to be doing any Fallout tonight. For those of you who be like, kids, man, you going to do Fallout? Nope. No Fallout on Fridays, but I will be back on Saturday playing lots of Fallout and then more Seven Days to Die uh, as well. So thanks for hanging out in the stream. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we're going to go give a raid some awesome person. Uh, so to some awesome, amazing person right here in a minute. I hope you go along with me. Go along with me. We'll find somebody amazing. Let's do it. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, that one needs some love. That one was broken. There was somebody in there. There was somebody in that one. That one did. That one was effective. Because uh, you can always tell uh, if it's very heavily damaged. It was probably a cop or something like that over there where Samson was. Uh, and then took a lot of damage. It's very nice. Now you're thinking to yourself, Kismet, how you getting out of there, bro? Well, I'd already thought that out before. How can you get out of here? Well, there's a little bit of jump right here in case you get stuck in there. A little bit of jump, you can run to the edges uh, and try to get out. All right, so there's some I need to re-wing. I also got the drawbridge done today, which is awesome. I really love the shape of this. See how kind of that kind of cool shape? It's not just totally square. It's kind of rounded and kind of very pyramid-like. Very pyramid-like. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to bring that down, and we'll go ahead and finish with our wiring. Again, we still got some time. Still got some time to go. Go ahead and wire this down. All of these. So they'll be prepped and ready for next time. All right. Now, this kind of wiring is the first wiring you want to do, and then you can kind of think about how you're going to balance the load uh, all the, of all the rest of your wiring, right? Now, is this, this power going to come from here and then go to here, right? And then that's going to power the rest of this. Or are you going to backtrack this power this way across, right? How are you going to do the power? Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and actually disable this run from this way, like that. And then I'm going to disable this here because it's running in this direction. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this one right here, this switch back up to here and tie this over to here for right now. So that means that if you flip the switch over there, it's going to go ahead and do this whole side and a little bit off to the side here, right? These couple, just in case they're running up and they're running kind of over the side here, right? Ooh, this one took lots of damage. Look at that. That corner took lots of damage. I've actually lost turrets by putting them in the corner because I thought those things would be strong enough. Those little iron bars and put the turrets in the corner and think they'd be just fine. Oh, no. Uh, they knocked out that thing. They knocked it out, uh, and then it fell, and then it took the turret with it. Uh, that's not good. Look at that. Oh, wow. He took out one of my... Look at that. He took out the splash guard. There was another one there. He took that out. Oh, look at that. That took some damage, too. Took some damage action there, too. Look at all this stuff. Repair all of this. Repair all of that. All right, so we'll go ahead and flip the switches and so we'll see if we can get them all running. All right, heads up, everybody. I'm going to try to get all the spinners running here. All right, now my job, if I can log out and all the spinners are running, then I did my job today. Let's see. Got all these spinners running here. Spinning there, nice. You guys see one I missed? You let me know. Looking good. Now all this power over here is, of course, uh, by this other switch. Now, again, I'm going to move this power eventually, but for right now, they need the ability to uh, activate the power as well. Turn all these on. Very nice. And then again, I should have put, I should have done the same thing right here with this power and made it so you can just go right in the doorway here, or maybe even the doorway here. Probably this would be the better side. Or even make a ramp that goes around the back of it so they can't shoot through there when you're trying to go in there, right? So you go around the back, you're protected around the back side. While they're trying to shoot you, you can't get in there, but you can get into the door. Uh, but it's more convenient when you're right here is just to go in the door, flip the switch on and off right before Horde Night. So that's what I'll probably end up doing. 
Uh, let's just let's just finish that up. Let's go ahead and just re revise that right now. Revise that. So we're gonna need a couple doors. Let's go ahead and work on that. Right here. Uh, hi, Lambros. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, let's go ahead and do door. All right. So we're gonna need a uh, vault door. So I need the springs. All right. Grab some springs. I'm gonna do the door. A couple of vault doors. That's gonna take 16 minutes. I'm not doing them there. Not doing them there. Let's do it over here. We got plenty of we got plenty of things here. Uh, again, we're gonna do two. We need one for that power tower and then one for this power tower, which I'm gonna kind of knock our way out and try to fix it up a little bit better. Again, as you improve upon your design, don't feel free to just like adjust things however you want. Uh, and I need a land clean block. And what else? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's take some of this just in case. Stack that out. Don't need the med kit right now. What I really need to do is put all the stuff for Horde Knight in this kind of bottom right corner. Like this. And then I just come in Horde Knight. Da, 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 food, water, whatever it is right there in that corner. Just thought of that. Just thought of that. Duh. Or just have a separate box that says Horde Knight box, and then I go in there and I, I drop every, I grab everything out, I put everything in, or I go to this box, I drop everything in there, and I grab everything out of the Horde Knight box, uh, and be prepped and ready. I'll have to, I'll have to work on that next time. But right now, we need an auger. We need an auger. Like so, and we need some gas. Look at all this gas I made today. Tons of gas. All right, let's fix it. Uh, anyone want to play some Seven Days to Die? Uh, Alpha 16 on PC. Well, there you go, Jubby. There you go. If anybody wants to play, get some buddies. Get some new friends in the stream. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, kind of. They got. They attack a lot from this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. There we go. So now I should be able to come in and go right to the switch right there. But I have it way up there. So I'm going to go ahead and auger out this too. Reload! Never played. There you go. How did things work out for you uh, and that other guy last night? Worked out great. We rocked it. We rocked it. It was nuts. It was nuts, though. It was craziness. Got to get all these wires out of here. Got to get all these wires running through here. It's not proper. It's not proper. There we go. Now, I did the same kind of thing. I kind of drilled out the side here. To make the switches easier to manage. So instead of running way back over there, which really sucks, I'm going to make it so literally they can come up here, run over here, flip the switches, and then this whole side is going to be tied to this one switch. So, like, see anybody coming this way? Boom. They can take them out all the way up to the thing. Over here? Oh, boom. Take them out, a whole thing, right? So I'm going to go ahead and tie that all in right here. Now, to get my stuff back, i got to put a land claim block in here. Uh, to get my stuff back without... Excuse me, Samson. Could you move, please, bro? Uh, to get my stuff back, I gotta have him put this here, right? I gotta put it somewhere in here. So I'm gonna... I can't put it there. Can't put it there. Can't put it there either because of the uh, ladders. Let me try to put it in here. Put it right there. Right there. Ah, of course it went too far down. Can I pick it up? Yes. All right, but first... Oh, nope, nope, wait. First, I need to get all the stuff out of it. Turn it off. Take all the stuff out. That was close. That was close. I don't know if you get everything back, and I don't want to find out. I don't want to lose all those engines. 
Uh, thank you so much, uh, Nimtik to Karu. Karu, thank you so much for dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army, uh, as well as D. Bailey. Thank you so much for that love. Show him some love in the chat, everybody. Uh, Kismet, uh, I am good. I had lots of work to do. How have you been? I've been awesome, Lambros. I've been awesome. I have an incredible, incredible couple days. I'm telling you. Today was incredibly fun. We, had a, we got a lots done today. Uh, and again, if you have a land claim block, you can pick all this up. Uh, we had an incredible amount of fun today. We did a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, right now, I'm kind of in, improving the quality of my base. I set these powers up too high. It's just not convenient for my people to come in here and do it. But then what you do is you try stuff. You try stuff. You see if you like it. If you don't like it, revise it. So that's what I'm doing. I want to make it where they can just literally just open this door, look in here, boom, flip the switch on. That's what I want to make them do. Now, I might even leave this land claim block here because what the heck? Because what the heck, right? Oh, wait. No, I can't leave it there. I got to put it out one more. Got to put it out one more. Too bad. It's got to go. Got to go. Hey, David. What's up, man? How have you been? Still getting stronger? Yo, Lambros, seven days a week. I can stream now like never before, man. Like never before. I am stronger than ever. I've been stronger than I am about 15 years ago now. Because I had two choices. Two choices. Oh, that only takes up one block. I just realized that. It takes up one block. Cool. Cool. Uh, I had two choices. Lay down and die or get up and live. I chose the second one. Second one's good. Uh, get a lot more done doing that. All right. So, how do I want to run the power this time? Put that there to block that. Then this is going to be the switch. And then I will make it where that one up there is where the power comes out. Then I can run it back to there, and then I can ping it back up to there. I could run around the outside if I really wanted to. Maybe I should make it come out the other side. Duh, Kismet. Why don't you make it come out the other side, bro? Oh, because they can probably hit it on this side. I don't like them hitting it on the side. Juby, thank you so much for dropping the dragon ever crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, getting so much stronger. So much stronger up in here. Played nine hours and seven days a day. That's why I'm late watching you kids. David, that's how it goes, bro. That's good. Look at my uptime. Do an exclamation point uptime in the chat. Check it out. I love this game. It is so incredibly fun. It's got to be one of my top fun, uh, top games of all time now. All right. Now, would I've been smart enough to bring a switch? Oh, my last switch. Oh, awesome. I can go make some more, though. So there we go. Switch right there. That's much better on the wall. And then tie this into there. And there we go. Now, what I want to do, of course, is I want the switch to go up uh, and then go out of there. So actually, I think I will take this one out. Take that one back out of there. There we go. Oops. <laughs> the whole wall out. Okay, I got plenty of concrete. Got to go up a little bit more. Like this. And then this one down. Now, what? The whole reason why I'm putting it in here is to protect it, right? I'm just kind of testing. This is no, like, final stuff. Um, but I'm kind of testing if I can put it in the power tower, protect it in there, right? And then my people can go in there and flip it on and off nice and easy. And then, of course, it'll power everything else. And that's the whole goal of what I'm doing. I'm going to put it up at the top. Take this block out. There we go. So again, it's blocked in the tower. Protect it. My peeps can come in here. They can flip the switch on and off. And then they don't have to even think about it. They don't have to think about how it runs and where it goes and what it connects to. They don't have to do any of that. All they need to do is literally walk in here, press that button. They're good. Now, right now, i got a whole bunch of stuff going through. Oh. <laughs> killed by his own invention. I killed myself by my own invention. I turned around to look at the tower and I fell off into the spikes. So that is how you die. By your own invention. So there we go. Spawn on my bed. That was epic. I hope you guys like that. Yes. Four hours. Four hours is totally wrong. I'll turn the things off. Uh, nine hours and 54 minutes. Ten hours the stream has been running. Ten hours. It must have. Uh, that must have been that hiccup a bit ago. Sometimes my internet connection dips, though it's totally dedicated. 
Killed by my own invention. Where'd my bag go? That's what happens. Get all my stuff. Get all my stuff and get the heck out of here. Boing, da boing, da boing. See, these are flush over here. See, these are all flush on this side. But over here, they're not flush. Whee! Under the spikes. Awesome. Uh, so if you jump just right, you can jump back out of there again. Uh, but as you can see here, we've got an entrance way. All right. So the whole point is to eliminate that stuff back there. Is eliminate all of that and move the power up here to the front. So literally you can just walk in this room, boom, flip that switch. All right, that's my goal. So now I gotta take all this other junk out. So, uh, nope, nope, left, left click. Left click all of this stuff. Bam. Turn that off. Left click all of this. Bam, off. And all this cross stuff. Turn that off. Now, basically what you want to do is look at where the uh, line is going. See how this line is going from over here? And it's ending up right there? Well, that's the one I want to uh, left click because then it will take the line that's before it. Right? So the line that's this way. So left click that sucker. Bam. Now, if I wanted to take it, if I wanted to unconnect it to these, then I would click on those. Right? It's like whatever the destination is. So we don't need to run it uh, kind of like it is right now. So this one's running up here, and it's running through this thing, which I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. So we're going to run left this, left click this, left click this, fall down, left click that. There we go. I didn't mean to fall down, but I fell down anyway. I have a tendency to back off of things like that, especially when you're doing power. It's very annoying. All right, so we don't really need to run it like that. We need to run it uh, oh, like this in the other direction. Uh, oh, actually, we need to go this way. Okay, so we're going to go this way, up from this power, cross from here to this, right? So that's going to run it this way and that way. Now, the problem is we also need to kind of backtrack over to here to this one. See, like that? So we've kind of run it from the power tower. And it looks legit now. See, it's not all like running through the middle of stuff and all of that. I hate that. Uh, now, it runs to there. And then, of course, it runs and it powers this whole side. It runs back this way. It's going to power these ones down here now and all of these over here. So we flip that switch on. Let's see how it does. Of course, if we got gas in there, that'd probably be helpful. Refuel it. And let's go ahead and get all the engines back in there again. Now, this one is the one I would probably put the most engines in because you're probably going to use it the most. Everybody warning, I got the power on uh, to all the stuff on this side. All right. Let's see if I can fall to my death again. Oh, did it not turn on? Got to turn the switch on. You All right, now you grab that other purple engine out of this uh, generator. Uh, I'll get it all in a second. I'm just uh, just talking talking to the stream as I go. Uh, so yeah, so all of these should be running. If you have a whole bunch of them running and something is not running, then you know that you don't have enough power for that particular thing, right? Like this is running all of these all the way back to here. See this, and then uh, this is being run by this over here. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Like that. And then this one's being run by this one over here. And we'll go ahead and turn that one off. I should have put that switch over there. Can I pick that switch up? No, can't pick it up. But even though it's close to land claim block, it's just a little bit too far. All right. So we got that going like that. And what I'm trying to do is equalize the loads in four different corners so that I can run all of this power. Uh, and, of course, it's not finished yet. It's not. Uh, we don't have another power tower here where we can put our thing in now what you can also do is just concrete i said that's what i might do just concrete out the whole building and then run it out a window and run it down to here i mean that would save me from having to build a tower there i think i might do that put it up in the second level run it out a window there we go and then this that'll be switched but the only problem is we can't access it from down here unless i run a switch down here which i can do too i can put a switch on the thing but then the switch is not protected either so the whole point is to uh, try to devise a way to have your power and your switch protected in case something comes along and tries to destroy it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, now this currently does not run this way. Oh, let's look at the load on the engine. You can also come in and look at the load on your engine right now, 382 watts. Uh, it's not, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, so these should be running. There we go. Now they're going. Uh, but this one over here is not connected because I'm going to have to chain this from here. 
to there. There we go. Now those are on. And let's look at our load now on the engine. 443. Looking good. Uh, looking good. Now the whole rest of this here needs more power. So we're going to go through and we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and grab all of this stuff. We should probably keep fuel in here too. Should make that like into a box right there with a bunch of fuel and stuff. I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Before we do that. So we're going to lose our wall again. Just in case. Just in case. All right. Let's do it. I don't think we're going to lose it, but just in case. Reload. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think we would have lost it. Well, of course, yeah, because it's not tied into anything. So the second you take that bottom one out, that whole thing would fall. So I'll put it like that for now. Put it like that to hold it up. Uh, and there we go. So now we can put a box in there. So we can have uh, ammo for our turrets. We could have uh, uh, meds and all that other stuff. And use the power tower also as a kind of a refuel tower. Or a redo tower as well. So we're going to put the storage box in. And we'll go ahead and get a little bit of everything, right? We get ourselves some kits, painkillers, antibiotics. Uh, I don't really do tea. But again, just a little smattering of everything. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Ali, uh, AJ Lennon. Thanks so much for dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, becoming part of the Kismet Army. Thank you so much. Appreciate that love. We'll go ahead and grab a yeah, good half of that stew. A bunch of bottled water for the peeps. Oh, definitely some splints. Definitely oh, some splints. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and grab some signs. Right here. Uh, put that in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and run over down. And I'm just hanging out on the end there. Boom. Come on. There we go. There we go. So now you got a box in there, and then you got like some emergency supplies in there, right? So you got the bottled water, you got all that stuff. So you don't have to run back into the base. Boom, you got it right there. Now also, you might put a little bit of repair stuff in there, right? So you want to repair stuff, right? Or maybe even more than that. Hold on, let's just split it like this. Like 215 might be good. we we'll repair stuff. Maybe you want to have some uh, electrical parts in there, bam, for repair. Uh, definitely some concrete. Stone, right? Maybe half of the iron in there. And so on. You know, just kind of put uh, put stuff in there for Horde Knight. This is like your Horde Knight supply. Your Horde Horde Knight supply. You can try to put this sign in here, but see how it's so uh, doing that? So you can actually use the sign on the outside. Power tower and horde supply. I like to put horde night supply. Let's see if I can fit that in there. I doubt it. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Power tower and horde night supply. Supply bunker. Would be awesome. All right. That's looking awesome. You guys liking that? Run the wire autocorrect. Run the wire. Uh, can you rule run the wire between two pillars... Two pillar fifties. Uh, how about through some iron bars? Yes, you can run it right through the middle of your concrete. By the way, it runs right through the middle. They haven't got that collision down. Uh, I don't like it though. Like if I I can run it back here from the switch right through the middle of this building to there, but I don't I don't like it to do that. I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. Now, again, as we get better and better engines, of course, the more power each generator can do. Uh, right now, we're just kind of uh, testing out the max limits of what the generator can do. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and put that back together. 
Now here's a, the thing you want to do. If you really want to make sure you got all the max power engines, right? You go grab all the engines, you sort them by what power they have, and then you know which ones are the best ones, right? So let's do that. Grab those. Go over here, grab these. Turn oh, off. We got a dog horde. North, northeast. Okay, I guess you're gonna have to take them out because uh, I They're just running down this way. Okay, I just took out I just took out all the engines, so. Uh, thanks so much for that host, Lambros. Appreciate it. Every host does just give me a little bit close to that partnership. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, turn off. Oh, never mind. It's zombie horde also. All right, be over there in a second. Doggies! <whistles> doggy, doggy, doggies. Come here, doggies. All right, did I get this one over here? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. There we go. Okay, whoa, I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room. Hold on, I gotta put some of this stuff down. Dropbox E. Drop all this stuff in Dropbox E. Be right with you, zombie horde. Be right with you, brother. I'm a little busy. Turn off. Grab all that out of there. And just sort. And of course, the best ones are going to be at the end, right? So now you just checked all of your engines and you know which ones are the best ones. Which one's going to give you the most power, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and just click them in reverse order here until they fill it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now, here's the thing if I wanted to go ahead and power the rest of this, right? Bye bye, big mama. If I wanted to power the rest of this, I could go ahead and also just right-click this. Run it over here. Like so. But notice how it's not uh, turning on. The reason why it's not turning on is because it's basically using too much power. Uh, so I can go over this way and disconnect this over here in the back. Like this. Boom. And those will go off. But then the power will then regenerate that way. And then now all of these are on. Isn't that cool? I think that's super cool. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. I hear somebody. Isn't that awesome? One switch from right here, bro. See, it's just going to be in here in the Horde Knight Supply. You just walk in there. You flip the switch from up here. You don't have to go all the way over there every time. You don't have to go in the base or nothing like that. It's going to flip this whole side on. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. And then we're going to have, of course, the glass all the way along the outside here with the double bars out there where you can step out on the bars. Also, it keeps anything from trying to jump up there. Uh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic, but it just takes time. Time and a whole lot of effort, as you can see. Uh, into trying to make it all lined up and all powered up and all uh, e equally balanced. Uh, now, the next thing I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to do this side. I'm going to go do the far side there uh, and do that. Now, eventually tomorrow, I'm going to do this side and then the other side. Uh, we'll get that all done. But look at our power tower here. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. And again, go in reverse order to try to get the most power. Like so. And we turn it on. Like so, and then we flip the switch. Morning, got the power on on this side, and we see what our we see what our load is, 361. So this could take this could actually do more. Now it's doing all of these, and it's doing all of this. But right now it's not doing any of this, right? Of course, this this power right here can run all of these over here, like so, on this kind of back corner. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one with these ones. Like so. Turn that on. And uh, flip the switch would be helpful. Start that and see what its load is. Right now, oh, only 234 watts. It doesn't have enough. It doesn't have enough to do. I'm going to go ahead and backtrack. Backtrack the power this way. Into here. And then it'll automatically change from that way to this way. And so on. Now I'll go ahead and chain it from here over to there. And now it's doing this corner. I can also chain it from here up to there. I can try. Trying to go that way. 
Nope, not doing it. Hold on. Not doing it. I gotta left click it. Left click it. There we go. And fall down. And fall down. Again, falling down is part of the game. I fall down a lot. At least I'm not breaking my leg like I was earlier, man. I was breaking it like nobody's business. Now, you don't want to flow down into there. You don't want to flow down into this. You want to flow from this to this, and then from that to that. There we go. Now it's the right way. Okay. Now, this is running all this in the back. So if you do run over here to this side, you do that. Now, again, let's check our power load. Can we add more? Can we add more to this particular power to this one? 360? Yeah, maybe another one. This will be 20. Let's see. How many more uh, things can we add? If you do the math, they're about 20 each. So right here, this is 443. So that's 2, 6, uh, 20, uh, 60, 80, 100. So that's four more I can do. Four more I can do. Uh, thank you so much, Kate, for the 27 bits. Thanks for showing the stream some love. Now, if you do have a question or comment for me, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, if you do have a question or comment for me, my name is Kismet. Kismet clipped and tweeted to Twitch fails. That's okay, Lambros. Go for it. Go for it. I don't I don't get embarrassed. I'm okay. Well, I do get a little embarrassed sometimes. Uh, with Kismet set up, you can turn zombies up. Turn zombies up max. Exactly. Kismet, I go to sleep, brother. I hope you have an awesome uh, night. Thank you, Texas. Have a great night. Kismet, I see you finally got your sub button. Congrats. Yes, Cog. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yes, it's been a two-year journey to get that sub button. Now, some people might say, Kismet, did you get partnered, bro? Still no partnership love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Still no partnership love. I'm sure they'll give it to me at some point. Or maybe not. Who knows? Or maybe not. Um, but uh, I did get my affiliate sub button. Uh, and I'm going to work on my emotes. And I get to look at them right after the stream. Right after the stream, which is going to be awesome. There we go. Look at that. It's working this whole corner. Working this whole corner. So there we go. So that's working all of this. Now, my, my goal is to get all of these running uh, and basically check the load values. All right, let's see. How much can we go here? And right now, 361. Whoa, 465. So that means that is uh, four more. Two, six, eight, ten. Then three more. That's five more. Five more I can do. Five more I can do there. So let's keep chaining it. Again, you're, these are all running here. So let's go ahead and chain this one. This way. Bam. And there we go. We got that going. Now, these ones are not tied down here yet because I didn't have enough time to tie them to these. So let's go ahead and tie these down here. Now, it's probably not going to have enough power to run these, but then I'm going to go ahead and reroute the power on the other side to make all this work. So that's one, two. Wow, I think that's going to work out perfect. Three. And then four there. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this away by left-clicking it, like so. Get to go. Left-click over there. Left-click over there. All right. So basically what I did is I take the whole line away just to make sure that it's all gone. Then I'm going to rerun it through here. And then all of these should kick on. That's a lot of work right there. That's a lot of work to make all that stuff work, if you, don't, if you know what I mean. All right, now see how this power is running? The power is running from this that way, which is what you don't want it to be doing in this case. What I want it to be doing is I want it to be running further this way. All right now, right now, I don't have a generator for this corner here, uh, so I probably don't have enough power to run all of that. But let's go ahead and check the load values on what we've got so far. Let's go check the load values, and then we'll uh, readjust. I would say that these are probably pretty close to max right now. 442. Oh, one more on that one. One more on that one. This one here is... Uh, and what I'm looking at right here is these numbers. 443 and this is 421. So maybe one more on that one as well. Uh, if I really wanted to balance it that close, but I really don't. I really don't want to balance it that close. I want to be able to make sure I can turn all this on. Turn all the traps on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody. Look at that. That was a lot of hard work all night long. You've been hanging out all night long. You can see that I'm... It's all that hard work. Look at that. 428 of 533. Right, right on the edge of it. 
right on the edge. That was some good power planning right there. Now again, see as I get to here, and then look, not enough power. Not enough power for just this little corner here. Now is there a way to fix that? Of course there is. Of course there is. There's always a way to fix it. Because right now, this doesn't have any power, right? This one right here. So what I can do is I can go ahead and create a temporary bypass, run that from way over there to over here and do all sorts of Mickey wicky stuff. But we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. What we're going to do is go right over here to the building mats, and hopefully I put one in there. Land claim block. There it is. And we're going to stick a land claim block right there. Then we're going to pick that sucker. Pick that sucker up. Pick that sucker up. Like so. Then we're going to do the same thing up here. First, we're going to look in it, make sure there's nothing in it. Nope. So I don't trust it. Hold down the E key, and then you can go ahead and pick up that block, too. Bam. There we go. I can take that block out if I want, but dinner is not there anymore. Now, eventually, I'll take these power poles out because you no longer need them over there. Because then you don't, you don't have to have the extra power. You don't have the wires run all the way there. They'll just run from the corners, which is awesome. And then they're in concrete bunkers. Now, I could put the power down all over here and all of that. But I think I'm going to just kind of put it behind here for right now and see how that goes. Right there. And then another power switch. Right down there. Again, I don't like to be out where it can be hit, but i got to build another tower right there. Uh, and I think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. So we're going to go ahead and also rerun the power from down here, from there to the switch. Because, of course, you want to be able to turn it on and off. And then from here up to here, like so. And then that one's going to run to that one. And, of course, we'll tie from this side over to there. And then we'll go ahead and tie this one back, which it already is, to the turret, which is looking good. And then to the generator, refuel. There we go. And then this is all the engines I got, so that's what we've got to use. Turn that on. There we go. And there's something funny. Flip the switch, kids. Learn, learn, to, learn to play. LTP, everybody. Learn to play. There we go. Now, if I did my job right... We basically have four different engines running. If I did the math, and actually I think we have extra power at this point. Uh, we are looking good. Every spinner should be on. Looks like it. All the turrets should be powered. Looks like it. Now, just so you know, I think this all stuff out in advance. I think all of this out in advance. Where I'm going to put stuff, how stuff's going to wire, how stuff's going to go. Uh, now, is it is it always work out exactly as I thought? Most of the time. Most of the time, but not always. Sometimes I adapt it like I did for the, the Switch because I, I built it. I looked at how functional it was and if it was annoying to the team to be able to go in and do it. It's kind of annoying to have to go up uh, into the tower that high and then flip the Switch. If it's annoying, then I'll move it, readjust it. It's easy. Easy to do. Uh, so there we go. I think we got them all. Gotta catch them all. And we did. Got them all. All right. Now we need some doors. We need some doors action. Turn that one off. And that one off. And we should have brought some signs. See if I got any more signs in here. I don't think I put them back in building mats. I think I put them in the other thing. But oh well, we'll do that later. Got them all working. Just like I said it would. I'm going to build the other two towers for the other ones uh, on the other side. Uh, and then we should be done. I'll have to finish out the rest of the towers and all of that stuff and finish out the uh, tops of them and all of that. We'll probably do that tonight. Do that tonight action. Really? Really? No concrete on me. That's a sacrilege. Kiss me without concrete. 
Looking good, Kez. Thank you, Princess Pebbles. Yeah, it is amazing. It is probably one of my best upgrades I've done to the kill box is add that kind of uh, blade trap bunker. It takes a lot of engines and a lot of power, but it doesn't take much gas. So once you have the engines and you have the power, it's like grinding up zombie fist. And I could make it to a master switch, which I might do. Uh, I might go ahead and tie all that power back to a master switch. You can leave all the switches on and then literally just flip one switch off and the whole entire spin base goes off. And then when they start up and you don't know what side they are, like on Horde Knight, you don't know what side they're attacking on, you flip them all on and then you're like, okay, they're attacking from this side and then you can flip the other two off. So basically it doesn't lag people out for number one and then also it's not burning a lot of excess power that you don't really need. A lot of excess resources. All right, I need my concrete. Need my concrete. Uh, what else? What else? I just need my stuff. That, uh, what did I do with all that iron stuff? Oh, in the, in the last chest. That's what I did with it. Box number E. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we got all that. We got a land clean block. We got that done. I think we're good. I think we're good for now. See how I'm nice to my peeps? I let them know what's up. I let them know what's up. What's up? What's up with that? Oh. Did you just lag out? I'm lagged out. No, I'm, I'm... Can't get in there. Can't get in there, but I can't do my... What the heck? Trying to be nice to my peeps, but it won't let me. Gonna auger that sucker. Bam! Take that, stupid signs. Here's your sign. No. Why? Why must you do this? I have literally two things left to do. Or base. Uh, let's see. Should have put that one up there. Hold on. That's what I'll do. Let's go ahead and take this one. Copy that, close that, switch off of that, go up to here, paste that into there. And this one says, uh, what side is that? That's uh, southwest. Bam, there we go. All right, four switches for base, in power tower, southwest corner. And then if you're running this way, it will say four switches for base, one outside door, also power tower that way. All right. I think that works for now. That works for now, peeps. All right, there we go. Four switches on four sides should power everything. Uh, eventually, again, I'll build out of the power towers in the other two corners. Finish out that one next time. It'd be good. It'd be good. And that's it. Once I have that done, boom, that's done base building. That's a done base. I don't do nothing more. Except for maybe put some turds out there. Put some turds out there so you can fire back. I might do that right in the middle of the base. I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to put three turrets. I'm going to put one this way, one that way, and one straight. Tonight. 
Tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when I will be back. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff. Put it in here. Let me get my sniper so when I log in, if it's Horde Night, I can do my thing. Get my thing going on. Don't need the auger. Probably when I log in. Don't need that. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Oh, they're probably going to need springs in this. Put all the stuff that they may need up here. Springs, mechanical parts. Uh, all that sort of stuff I can just keep for now. Might break my wires. Ah, hey, when I do that. Not that. Wire tool. Oh, just like a touch of lag right when I'm trying to drag it. Stop it. Okay, I'll give you a second this time. Go. There we go. Uh, take that out of there. Nail gun. Actually, I'll keep some concrete, some black iron, some forged steel on me, and some kits. In case I log in. In case I log in, in some trouble. I'm going to go up to the sky tower. That's trippy, huh? Trippy with a floor like that. See, I can understand it when you're standing out here, but I should have made this inner part. I should have made the inner part concrete and the glass along the outside. That would have been a better. That would have been a better design because this freaks you out right here, All right? Because that should have been concrete. And then that would have been visually easier because uh, you're just looking down into the concrete here. That's not helpful, but visually easier to kind of stand along this edge and be able to see down. Uh, that would have been a better design, I think, anyway. I think also would have been a better design if that thing lined up right to the middle there so it didn't take out the kind of corner here. But then, of course, you're not really standing over here shooting this way. So that, that corner is not really that useful. But you can kind of aim over the side here, and then when they shoot at you, ah, ha, ha, miss me. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Stand up on the side. Snipe! Took out that window. <laughs> I like my little sniper tower. Now, I'm going to build another one just like this on the other side. But, of course, concrete in there. I may revise this one and take some of these pieces out and put concrete in there so it's not tough. Uh, so tough. Now, of course, up here, what you want to do, of course, is put all your ammo and stuff. Eventually, of course, I want to have a hatch on this thing uh, so that, you know, obviously stuff can't get down in there like birds or whatever that try to get you. So we'll put a hatch on there. But I think I will take out probably a portion of that glass and redo that. Redo that eventually. But for right now, I'm going to hide behind this little corner here. Maybe this corner. Maybe this corner over here, just in case. I log in in Horde Night and some craziness is going on. Uh, I'll be hanging out here in the tower. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of there. Now, who are we going to show some love to? Let's see if my mods are still awake. Let's see if they're still awake. See if we got anybody. Oh, sounds good, crazy. I just saw your stuff, but you're probably already gone. Uh, let's go ahead and find out who we're going to raid tonight. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, love those doors. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, it comes out really, really good. Oh, I forgot to put the doors down. Darn it. I forgot to put the doors in the uh, in the thing. Hold on. Sorry, i got to log back in. I can't leave it like that. Just when you thought. Just when you thought you could log out, you got to do this one more thing, and then six hours later. Six hours later, that's how it happens. All right, let me close that down. Let me get this up here while we're waiting for that to go. Get that going. Let me log in. Yeah, I almost for, I almost forgot my uh, almost forgot my thingy. My thingy thingy. Bam. Bam a Rooney. Uh, it's always one more thing. That's why this game is so awesome. Uh, who do we got? Who do we got? We want to show some love to today. Damn. Uh, there we go. I'll come back. I'm back real quick. Real quick, everybody. You know how it goes with games, right? You know what real quick means. Like two hours from now. Two hours from now is real quick. I forgot my doors. I'm back. I forgot my doors. Forgot my doors. Like doors. Bam. 
Now, the reason why I want the doors is I don't want them to shoot up here and then hit all the generators and everything inside the base. Again, I don't like to uh, I don't like to do it this way. I think it's obnoxious to have it out like that, right? I like it to be inside there and then open inwards. See that? That's that's how I want it to be, right? Like this. Easy mode, right? Easy mode. You come in, flip the switch, come in, you can take the ladder, you can close the door, go up to the tower, and all that fun. Because so I need to fix fix this here too. Don't have the thing. I have to fix that later. Fix that later. But basically, you can come in very easily on this little uh, ledge. Come in on this ledge, work everything you need to work, right? Work the generator. Maybe you need to put some gas in there, refuel that baby. Maybe you need to flip the switch on to get the traps going. You're good. Just for a little extra protection. Upgrade that baby. Upgrade that baby. That one's good to go. Ooh, dodge the yucca. Gotta dodge the yucca. That one doesn't have a door on the front of it. Should have made another one. That will be for another time. Another time, party peeps. Open the door. Oh, wish I had a land claim block. I'd move that switch. I'd move the switch onto the wall. No time. Next time. Next time! We got a turret running. We got our power going. How can I tell? Well, boom. Just go into your power thingy. And it's running up to it. There we go. Alright, that's semi-complete. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Got time to make another door, but I'm going to make one before I go. <laughs> I'm going to make one before I go. So I won't forget next time. Though I totally will forget, just so you know. Just so you know. Uh, door. I think there's something else I need, too. What else is it? Is it? Duh, springs. I do that every time. I grab the wrong stuff. I really need the springs is all I need. I've got tons of springs. Actually, let's see how long it's going to take. One minute, 30 seconds. All right, we'll just wait for it. <laughs> you're like, kismet, you're going to get busted. Oh, yeah. So busted. All sorts of coal busted. Let's go upgrade the base while we're waiting. Burn some of this. Hey, Sam, can you do me a favor and just queue up as much uh, iron as, or uh, steel as you have? Have you unlocked that yet? I think you've said No, I haven't already. unlocked it. I think I have enough points to unlock it, though, maybe. Okay, just keep it going on as much steel. I mean, like, on the neighborhood of, like, five, 6,000 steel. Bam. I need two more points in science, and then I can unlock steel. Awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some of these. Bam. Done. I got steel. Awesome. Yeah, I got, I got a two, but uh, this way uh, you can be queuing it up as well. Just wanted to upgrade this front area where they always like attack, and I'm waiting for a door right now. Bam. So you just want me to queue up all the forges with steel? Yeah, just all the forges, the black iron forges and the tool and the, and the glass forge. Get them all going with steel, and then, of course, put you know some raw iron in there. We got so much raw iron that you know, it's starting to fill up all the boxes. That should all be converted. Bam. This place gets attacked a lot. Gonna fill that up. Gonna fill that up. All right, looking good. This is all looking good over here. Don't really probably need that. Already doubled that up. Just kind of look around the base real quick here. This side doesn't get attacked that much. Again, I try to use my steel very sparingly in the beginning and try to just do the stuff that is very close uh, to where they attack all the time. I take that out, and I got to. Another thing I do is I got to auger all these square blocks out, uh, and then make them rounds like these, and then you'll be able to see much easier than uh, dealing with these square blocks all the time. That would be nice. Barely any damage there. Already got all of these ones. Look at this. Hope didn't get that one. Got all of these ones already. Now, if you notice, I upgrade these first uh, because those are. Uh, those are the ones we really need. Okay, the two forges are making steel. 
Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna finish this front part. Finish this front part. How much do I got left? 294. I'm gonna keep the rest of it for now. Just in case. Just in case. All right, well, if anybody else comes on, make sure to let them know about the four switches. I made some signs also when you're coming in and out of the garage on both sides uh, where the uh, where the stuff is uh, as well. So uh, hopefully they'll, they'll read that. But if, they, if they're confused, let them know. They get confused. It. I got to fine-tune that stuff. I got to make it just right. All right, I'm going to hide my little corner here. Get my sniper at the ready in case I come in. During Horde Night, get my other bow. Good. And right there. You All right. You want to queue up the other four just to make steel also? Yeah, if, they, if you got the, if, you know, they got tons of steel in them. Just, just queue it up and then just, again, put every, put uh, raw iron in everything. Everything that you're queuing steel up for, just put it in there and just put, like, 3,000 wood in there and just let it run. All right. All right. He's on it, everybody. He's on it. And that's it for me, Madden. Thank you so much. That was super fun. We got a lot done. More to do tonight. Uh, I'll see you then. All right. Bam. We're good. Now, thanks for hanging out on the stream, everybody. Sorry if I got focused there. Sorry for it. Uh, one more thing. Hours later. I know, Princess Pebble. That just, I know. Just what? I'm going to finish this one thing. I was doing that one day. I came on and I literally did it for like six, seven hours. And then that night, they came through with a patch. So that's six, seven hours of upgrading stuff. Uh, at least I went through and gave everybody a tour of what it was first, and then I literally had to wipe the entire server. Uh, but it was, I mean, the whole point of it, though, is this fun building. Even if I have to wipe the server tonight, all of that was super fun to build. And I'm learning stuff as I'm doing it. Like, okay, how do I want this to be? And, okay, no, the door's better on the side where they can come in, flip the switch, and then close the door, and then the power's all protected in there, and how can I run the power, and how can I balance the power between all the sides and all of that that is where the fun is for me. That's where the fun is. Now, of course, going out killing zombies is fun. Going out exploring and finding other towns and exploring the entire map is super fun, too. Now that we have so much gas, I can literally drive around the entire map if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Uh, why is there no emoticons for subs? Aha, uh -huh, I get to look at those right now. I get to look at those right now. I have an artist working on them. She's on a rush to get it done for me. She's amazing. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see them. And it's like my reward for 10 hours of stream. Well, 10 and a half hours now of streaming. Wait, all that's going to be gone? Well, I don't know. I don't know. If we if we have an update, it'll all be gone. I have to redo it. 10 hours and 37 minutes. Yes, I've been streaming. Look how much stronger I am. I'm so much stronger. I so feel so good. I feel so amazing. That's all because of you guys. Your encouragement every day. You're like, Kismet, come on, bro. You can do it. Stay at it. Stay at it. Keep doing what you love to do. All the nice things you guys say in the stream, I read them every day. <laughs> Poor Grinch, I fell asleep watching you. I consider that uh, a compliment. I consider that a compliment, just like people say, I fall asleep watching Johnny Carson. Uh, Mock, thanks so much for dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, becoming the car of the Kismet Army. So I'm about to leave. But for you, I'll hang out for an extra few seconds. How about that? Or an extra minute. Because I, it's kind of a bummer to come into someone's stream, hit the follow button, and then to go offline. I'm not. I'm going to hang out here. Let's do a love train. We'll say thanks to some peeps. And then we'll go and uh, show somebody some love. Let's see if we can find somebody we have not sent love to. Problem is, right about this time, it's like French, German, French, German. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I think I see somebody who needs some love. Somebody we have not given love to before. Somebody we have not shown the love to. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm excited now. Someone who has not been raided by the Kismet Army. Oh, yeah. I love the raid, the smaller streamer. This person. 370 followers with only 12 people in the stream, which is pretty respectable for 378 followers. But we're going to have to go show some love. We're going to have to blow it up. And they're playing some Seven Days to Die right now, too. But first, let me get that all ready while we say thanks to some peeps. Now, it's going to say I stream six days a week. I got to still... Uh, there's only so many minutes in the day. I still got to update it, but all the rest of it is good. All right, let's go. Be right back. A couple minutes. Or one minute, actually. Hail to the king, baby. Thanks to my Giga supporters, Dark Angel and Telus, for that amazing stream support. Everyone, make sure to show them the ultimate kismet love in the chat every time you see them. Thanks again. 
Now, thanks to my legendary supporters, Kidney Killer 71, Misfit Jim, Resident Spike, JS Cags, Mace, Noah, Grandpa Plays, Coda, Steel Pie, Kern Jazz, Action 2.0, Wink, Supersize My Peanuts, and Big JP, that's Mr. Non to You, Fast Out Crazy, and the Meridave. Thanks to my legendary supporters and all my other supporters, you are the ones that keep this stream a going. Best way to support the stream is to crush that follow button with the dragon hammer, hit that donate button, or you can subscribe via GameWiz or Patreon and show that support. You can even earn yourself some Kiz Caps each week by following on Twitter at Kismet, be like Bravo, P like Papa, Kismet BP, and subscribing on YouTube. Get those extra Kiz Caps toward our giveaways and our contests. Or just be an awesome lurker, retweet, share the channel with people you think would like it, and that goes a long way to helping the channel. Unstoppable. Now I've got to say thanks to the best mods on Twitch. Of course, we got Sister Wolf, Chewy Baka, Nushki, Crazy, as well as Dark Angel. Thank you so much for that always awesome stream support. Now I stream six days a week. That's right, I'm off on Fridays, but every other day I'm starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 7 p.m. Pacific. Playing lots of games, having lots of fun with you guys. Mondays and Tuesdays are our seven days to die night. We have a whole bunch of fun with the team, as well as all the other days I do do Fallout 4, and maybe some late night uh, teamwork fun with my team as well. As well as be watching for those bonus streams, I do do a lot of Fallout Shelter and other fun games. Watch for the notification here on Twitch, and also watch Twitter. Go ahead and run over there, hit the follow button, and you'll be in informed every single time. Thanks to everybody for hanging out in the stream, but we're not done yet. It's that time, one of my favorite times, to get on the Kismet Love Train and go and raid somebody else. So come on with me. Let's go make their night. Let's make them smile. Let's send that Kismet Love Train out along Twitch and just make it a better place. Thanks to you guys. Let's go. All right, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to switch back. Darn it. Always something. Always something. Thanks for hanging out in the stream, everybody. My name is Kismet, and we're ready to do the Kismet Love Train. That's right. We go out there, and we show love to the smaller streamer. Now, I want them to have the same experience that I had being welcomed to Twitch. How many people welcomed me to Twitch? Literally hundreds. It's amazing. So many people came in and said, Kismet, I love what you do, bro. And I want to show you some love. I'm going to drop some peeps. Maybe some of those peeps will like your channel. Maybe some of those people will hit follow and hang out in your channel. A lot of you people I know are from other amazing streamers. You may be from Kira. Maybe from Bearded Guys Gaming. Maybe from Banlish. All of those people. Those people are incredible. Maybe Warwitch. Warwitch is amazing. Look at those hearts. Look at those hearts. So we're going to get the Kismet Love Train raid. Look at you guys are already ready. Look at I love how people are already ready. What you do is you go over here and get that raid hype right there. It says Kismet Love Train sharing the love. Go and highlight that. Copy it. Get it ready to go. If you're on mobile, double tap. Highlight it. Get it ready to go. We're going to go raid somebody. We're going to go raid somebody right now. She has no idea we're coming. She has no clue that we're on the way. She doesn't know that I'm about to drop about 100 people in her stream, and she's going to be like, Booyah! What the heck? It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's my favorite It's my favorite time of the night. It's my favorite time. I get so jazzed about it. All right, so I would like to invite all of you to come with me. All of you, come on. Let's take a moment. Let's go show somebody some love, and then we're going to ask her to keep that Kismet Love Train going on to somebody else, and so on and so forth, as it goes around Twitch and makes it into a better place. All right? We're going to do that right now. Come on with me, everybody. Let's go ahead and switch on over. Right here. Boom. Here she is. Shh. She doesn't know we're coming. She doesn't know we're coming. Now, wait for me, everybody. Don't go without me. Wait for me. Go ahead and put her link in the chat here. Let's get that going. Let's get that going. Bam. Over here. Shh, we're gonna sneak up on her. We're gonna sneak up. It's not pasting. It's not pasting. Curses. It's always something. It's always something. There we go. Okay. Try it again. Let's try it again. Copy, copy. Paste, paste. Learn to paste, Kismet. Learn to paste. There we go. Okay, open that up in a new tab. Open up a new tab. Wait for me. Wait for me to see. Wait for me to put it in the chat. I'm gonna grab it myself. Gonna grab the love train, put it in her chat. I'm gonna listen in. I'm gonna listen in. I have so you have no idea my setup. I have so many things running at one time. Let's listen in. What is Severus's new thing called? All right, now she's part of the Bearded Brigade. That's right, the like Bearded Guys Gaming. Brigade. They are amazing over there, showing them lots of love. And I like to show Ooh, other people in the Bearded one. Brigade lots of love. Look out, zombie! All right, here we go. Three. Hopefully oh we don't God. kill her. I just, did you guys see that? I shot him. That's true. It happens all the time. Okay. Three, two, 
One. Go get her. Let's do it, everybody. Blow it up. Super oh. Maz. Heartless Misery in there already. Markovich. Who else? We got Russian. Mikos. Look oh, at you guys shit. blowing it up. See if she watches Probably her chat. Kill these guys, right? See if she's watching her chat. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Kismet Love Train Raid. How awesome. Oh. I love to hear that. I love to hear that it. That is a lot of chat. Holy crap. Hi, <laughs> Supermass. Oh, my God, you guys. Throw in the follow, bros. Thank Throw you so in the much, follow. Kismet, for that raid. Welcome, everyone. Throw in the follows up in there. Let's do it. Love Train. So awesome. Look at all those hearts. Kismet raid. There Thank we go. The host, everybody. Now she's ready for the host. She's ready for the host. Now she, th she thought the raid was amazing. You guys are amazing. Welcome Thanks so much everyone. for going in there, showing in love. You guys are doing well. I'm trying to get to level 60 so we can get Forge Steel. Well, here we go with the raid. Let's go ahead and throw the host. I'll be back tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, building up that base some more all night long. Let's washing. do it. Boom. Aim. How's everyone doing? Let's see what she says to the host. Let's oh, see. Lord. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for that, Kismet. There we go. Oh, goodness. Thank you for that host, Kismet and Lambros. Thank you so much. Marlboro. There we go, everybody. There we go. Through the host. Awesome. And, you know, I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.